you dropped off the face of the earth or something. Did you get my text? Yeah, I got it. Is this because the party got out of hand? Well, that's why I was trying to call you to say I was sorry. It's not just about the gate crashes. You bailed on me. You just took off and left me there. <laughs> well, I didn't know how to hold your hand the whole night. I'm not talking about that, okay? I ended up in hospital and you didn't even know. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. No thanks to you. If you've got this much time on your hands, maybe you should reconsider taking your old job back. I haven't found anyone to replace you yet. Mm, I wonder why. Probably has something to do with how the youth of today have no work ethic. But, hey, feel free to prove me wrong on that one. I already told you I'm not interested. And it's got nothing to do with my work ethic. I just don't want to work for someone who treats people the way you do. It's one thing to say you're sorry, but then you'll just go right out and do the same thing over and over again. But you won't be doing that. To me. Hi, Romeo. Hi. Twice in one day. People are going to talk. What, in Summer Bay? Surely not. You're right. Much better things to do with their time. <laughs> What's the deal with your mum and John Palmer? <laughs> well, why did it cause an injury? Uh, what are you talking about? Well, I saw them together. They were looking like two people who want to get it on. <laughs> As if. There's no way. My mum would have to be blind or uh, stupid or both. All I know is what I saw. Do you know anything about this? Uh, what, mate? Is Mum getting it on with John Palmer? You know what? Don't say anything. It's written all over your face. Hey. Hey. Have you talked to your mum yet? Yeah. She said there's nothing going on, which probably means they'll be married by the end of the week. Seriously? <laughs> no. But she likes it. It's obvious. Oh, it just makes me sick just thinking about it. Did you tell her that? Yeah, but she reckons she's seen another side of him. And whatever side that was, I'm just hoping that's clothing. Dude. But if she reckons I'm going to play happy families, it's not going to happen. What's the deal with you? This morning you didn't want anything to do with me. And... John Palmer's a jerk. You shouldn't be with your mum. I think it's called looking out for your mates. <sighs> I wouldn't have left the party if I knew you were in trouble. I heard what happened. It sounded like things got pretty heavy. I'm just glad Aiden showed up when he did. How's your form? I heard you passed Rosie. I thought it was a good idea at the time. Yeah, the next morning, not so much. Going for two girls who are best friends probably wasn't the smartest idea. Yeah, a death wish, I think, are two words you're looking for there. Considering I'm not into either of them, then yeah, I think you might be right. You are an idiot, too.